What's up ladies and gents, I'm bringing you another game. I'm sorry I have not been recording lately, I've been back in school the last week, been very busy and um, haven't had a lot of time to play this game, and the few times I've played I've just not had time to record because, well I'm not going to record games when I'm in the library or whatnot. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the game, and this guy is a total total cool kid, so here we go, we're playing against Animar, Soul of Elements, I haven't posted a game against Animar. But basically, Animar is a really hated multiplayer general because he just plays a bunch of creatures and makes all his spells cost almost nothing. So he's got pro white and black. And then whenever it casts a creature spell, he puts a plus one plus one counter on his general. And creature spells he casts cost one colorless less to cast for each plus one plus one counter. So he can start chaining creatures pretty quick if he has like any kind of uh, Garrick's Pack leader. Um, any kind of those like, draw whenever you play creature draw card spells it just starts getting on a little ridiculous. Plus he plays blue and green, so he's got the time walk and ramp effects, and then red, you know, for for measure. There you go. Anyway, let's see what happens in this game. And I'm sorry for the replay, but I haven't been playing too much, so you forgive me. So I say hello and good luck. And he doesn't say anything. It's Timber for Expanse. I just want Malice. I keep that hand. I think the hand's good enough. It's got a Mind Stone, two lands, and a one Power Stone. So it's time to Mind Stone it up. So he plays a General because all AMR Generals play their play their perfect mana and then play their General. I'm so amazed that they can do this. These three color Generals can play three non basics and just hit their General every time. So we'll play one power stone here. So he plays a Vexing Shusher. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good card if you want to counter spells. If that was in red red, I might play it, but so basically he can uncounter any spell if he has got a red or green open. Not good against my deck, but good against other decks that play counter spells. And he plays some growth chamber, so we know what's gonna happen to that card, right? Goodbye, Simic Growth Chamber, right? Goodbye. Right, he hits me for two, which is fine. It's time to kill some land. And here's where the fun begins. Oh, such a douche. I get a such a douche comment. He's playing Animar, which, um, if you ever play this card in multiplayer, people will hate on you very quickly. Because not only do you host two colors, but you're just. You can become an unstoppable force late, late in the game, so. There you have it. I said, really? Like, I played a non basic kill spell. It like, kills non basic land. I couldn't even play this card until he played a non basic land. I mean, it would have killed my own land here. But there you have it. There you go. Plus, Animar ramps. He's like a ramp card on his own. <laughs> Blocked. The funny thing was, if you looked at my uh, recent chat, he obviously had already blocked me, like, on August 18th. So, he already blocked me. He was just saying he blocked me, even though he already did. So, there you have it. Funny times. So, I mean, he can play, like, Wood Elves, Treasure Mage. He's got all this mana. I said you're playing Animar and complaining. Animar is not L E not L D. Nice try though. So he's just talking a ton of trash, making insults. So I just insult him back with noob because he likes that word. So we're gonna send it back his way. We'll see if there's a treasure mage. Oh the worm coil. Non foil worm coil, there you go. Alright, let's we're already behind on. We're already behind. Let's see if we can make it up. Soul Ring, not a terrible draw. Let's play our Soul Ring and get our Steel Hook on the field. Field will. How about that? Now, hopefully, we can kill his guys. Oh, but he's got Animar, and his duplicate only costs three mana. <laughs> And it not only costs three mana, but it adds a plus one plus one counter to his Animar. 
so not attacking with the Wood Elves tells me he doesn't have any kind of pump spells in his hand or deck. We'll just take it. So he plays Worm Quell for two mana, right? Yeah, he plays Worm Quell for two mana. He complains about one of his lands getting blown up. That's pretty awesome. It's like trying to slow down a green deck is pretty tough, but trying to slow down an Animar deck is pretty hard. So we're going to play our um, Extra Planar Lens. Play Kiki Jiki. We're not going to do anything at this point. We're going to blow up his land, take away a blue from him in case he's double blue he wants to cast. And then he plays Minamo, the Water's Edge. Interesting. <laughs> so he plays a Sword of Fire and Ice. Promo ugly version. And attacks me. And he says, get wrecked, noob, because he's about to wreck me, apparently. Because he's got Sword of Fire and Ice protection from my deck, right? But he <laughs> doesn't know I have this in my deck. So we don't even say anything to him because I don't like tar And we just block. <laughs> yeah, wreck noob. But he blocked me, so I can't even say anything to him. So we play our siege gang, we have infinite blockers, we skull clamp, get another guy. We just want a bunch of chump blockers at this point, because oh, Shakashima the imposter. There you go, he copies my Kiki Jiki. Yep. Worm coil. There you go. Copies worm coil. Let's see what he attacks with. Let's see what he attacks with. He's not attacking with his Animar for whatever reason. I don't know what it is. He's just be attacking with it. So we're going to block the token on the, this guy to kill it. We're going to chump block this, chump block this, and we're going to kill his imposter. <laughs> If he was smart, he would have copied uh, Siege Gang and killed my Jiggy, but he's obviously not smart because he acts like a douchebag. There you have it. So, there he goes. He gets a Worm Coil tokens. He gets to copy Kiki Jiggy, but he loses Sakashima. Wait, we're going to play War Storm Surge because War Storm Surge is awesome. And we're going to do some fun things here. We're going to Skull Clamp. Draw a mountain and play Clone Shell. And we are going to kill the wrong creature. Instead of Christian killing the 2 2, we killed the 1 1 for no reason. And we missed. We, we hit a bunch of lands and nothing else good on our uh, Clone Shell. So he doesn't know that. So we're going to Siege Gang, kill his duplicate. And block his stuff. Chump block time. Chump block. That's the the benefit of Kiki Jiki using chump block forever. What's he casting here? What is he casting? Tooth and nail, but he doesn't ca he doesn't entwine it. So he's just searching his library for two creature cards. Sure. So he gets Phyrexian Revoker, which he can cast for free because he's got seven counters in Animar. And a Frost Titan. Interesting. So he probably thinks he's hosing, uh, oh, Siege Gang. He doesn't even host Kiki Jiki. <laughs> That's pretty bad. He just hosts Kiki Jiki. I didn't even realize at the time. I figured he'd just host my commander, but he doesn't. So we're going to just cast our Goblin Bombardment. Eventually. Kill his, his Phyrexian Revoker. Cast our uh, middle of battle sphere. We're gonna kill his commander, force him to recast it for five mana. One, two, three, four, five. So take most of his turn, and it's gonna get rid of this eight eight threat. Yep, and he quits. And not only that, but he, when he quits, he says, "Get wrecked, noob." When I beat him, and he quit. Um, I'm not really sure why he would do that because I played a pretty fair game against him. I didn't really do anything to really like troll him. I mean I killed one of his land and uh, he also talked trash when he played Sword of Fire and Ice and I and I managed to defeat a Sword of Fire and Ice. Uh, yep, hope you enjoyed that game and I'll see you for the next one. I will hopefully record a live one 
Thanks for watching.